from East Coast LQ Reviews. Today, I got another beer review. This is a beer by Collective Arts. This is their Life in the Clouds. Cool can art. It's a New England IPA, 6.1% alcohol by volume. List of hops says Simcoe, Mosaic. And if uh, you want to check them out, you can go to collectiveartsbrewing.com. These guys, or actually this beer is brewed in Wanaki, Wisconsin, but I believe they're based in Canada. Do have beer after you pulled up 91 for outstanding uh, from Collective Arts Brewing, Ontario, Canada. Uh, style IPA New England. Um, ABV on Beer Advocate says 6.2, but the can says 6.1, so that's what we're gonna go by. And uh, notes says Life in the Clouds, our flagship New England style IPA, after experimenting with the collective seasonal hazy IPA we dialed in. The Simcoe Mosaic Hops and Mall Balance to optimize this juicy IPA's pleasant fruit forward. Think citrus and melon taste and aroma. In keeping with the Nova and uh, New England IPA tradition, Life in the Clouds is an unfiltered beer, neither overly sweet nor bitter, with a pillowy mouthfeel. So, we'll crack this open. I got mine in the streets, trailing glass, go for the pour, check out the color. I believe I might have done this on a live stream, but I saved a can for a revisit or just a single video. Leak down the side of the can. This hazy golden orange color to it. Frothy two finger white head. Actually, it's kind of a. Uh, yeah, white. I was gonna say off-white, but it's uh, it kind of looks a little different in the light. But yeah. So uh, sudsy off-white head or white head. Nice lacing. It looks like it's already gonna leave. Aroma. Definitely lots of pineapple. Pineapple mango. I can see melon. Kind of like cantaloupe melon. Maybe some guava as well. Some nice hop resin. Just a little bit of floral note. More juicy and tropical. And lemon. Yeah, it smells really good. white bread, a little bit of malty sweetness, Looks like some honey, yeah, it smells really good, it smells very juicy, so let's dive into this one, cheers. Really nice prickly combination, like they say, uh, pillowy soft mouthfeel, nice silky smooth, that feel to it. Decent amount of bitterness. I will say it's got some nice uh, floral hop resin finish to it. Up front, mango, that melon. Definitely citrusy lemon. Maybe even a little bit of lime. Nice tart, acidic aftertaste, along with that bitterness. Yeah, for the most part, it's mango, cantaloupe, melon, citrus, lime, grapefruit as well, actually, you get a little bit of grapefruit. Yeah, it's really good. I do enjoy the carbonation off of this one. 6.1%, decent ABV for a uh, just a standard New England IPA. Very crushable, drinkable. Um, I believe these will cost you around $12, $13 for a four pack, so very decently priced. Cyclops scale. I wouldn't necessarily say it's like caramel sweetness, but like kind of along the lines with the aroma, like a little bit of like a honey, 
like sweetness from the malt. So I'm getting decent malty backbone to it. Nice breadiness as well. Not overly bitter. Not overly sweet. Cyclops scale. I'd say three out of five sugar cubes and about three out of five hop cones. Very well balanced, I will say. Very easy drinking, crushable for a New England IPA. Overall score for the beer. I'm gonna run it at like uh, 93 out of 100. Definitely worth it, consider the price. Considering the price and uh, the drinkability of the beer and the flavors you get out of it. Really good. Um, Collective Arts, they make some good stuff. I believe my favorite was that uh, strawberry banana smoothie. It's like a strawberry banana sour, like a fruited sour. That was definitely my favorite by these guys. I think I still have a can in the fridge. But uh, yeah, 93 out of 100. Gonna recommend it all day if you see the life in the clouds. Um, Another cool thing that these guys do is they switch up the can art, so it, it might not look exactly like this, but if you see it, it'll say Life in the Clouds on the side. They actually do uh, take um, some artists' uh, artwork, and I believe the artists submit their artwork, and they pick certain people, or they pick certain artwork to put on their cans, which is really cool. So. Uh, the same product might have two or three or maybe even four different kinds of artwork on their cans, which is awesome. And I've actually seen them in uh, different four packs. So you'll have like a four pack of cans and you could have two of the, that are the same or all four will be different. So that's awesome to see. Um, it's definitely something different that you don't normally see and it's, it's nice that they support these, uh, these artists and their can art and they and a lot of them are really cool this guy this is like a guy i think he's like skydiving he's upside down he's uh got the clouds in his goggles life in the clouds um but yeah definitely go check out uh some collective arts beers uh definitely recommend this life in the clouds uh new england ipa and uh yeah they they have it if there's anything else that you guys like to see on my channel definitely leave a comment down below and don't forget to like and subscribe for more cool videos like a beer thanks for watching guys cheers